going to look at the skin tones of this man and just make sure that they where they should be. We're going to use the vector scope to do that and we're also going to use the fast color corrector but we're not going to use the one that we've already started working on. So we've got a fast color corrector already here and we've played around with lots of settings but I don't want to now play around and change the hue angle because that could muck up some of my white balance. So rather than trying to do it with one instance of the fast color corrector I can shut down this particular version and I can go back to my effects and take the fast color corrector and double click it to apply it again go back to my effects controls and here is a second instance of the fast color corrector now what I need to do is concentrate on the skin tone here and just make sure it's at the right place and to be able to do that I just want to look at just the skin tone so to look at just the skin tone I need to apply another effect which I can actually just reduce down and have a look at just this area so I'm going to go to my effects panel and I'm going to X that off and I'm going to do the 4 F-O-U-R not the number and we'll see that under keying we've got the 4 point garbage mat there is actually an 8 again spelt 8 and 16 again spelt 16 that you can apply but 4 will do for what we need double click to apply go to your effects controls and I'm just going to scroll this second version up because there's my 4 point garbage mat click on it and you can see I've got my four points and I can take those points and I can just bring them in so that I can concentrate on just the skin of his face okay so now you can see I've just got the skin of his face you can see that's showing on the RGB parade but what we actually want now is the vector scope now take the vector scope and I want to look at this particular point here because I'm going to maximize this particular panel because this is the skin tone line and I want to make sure that this particular color is going along this line because if it's going along this line that's the right color for blood pumping through skin and you can see it's just slightly off and minimize that again so what I need to do is I need to be able to use this second version of the fast color corrector to be able to shift the hue slightly so that it's just on this line and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maximize this panel a little bit so you can see a little bit better what I'm going to do you know that you've just got the skin showing up here so I'm going to open up the second version of the fast color corrector and what I want to do is play with the hue angle I don't want to change the intensity of what I'm playing with so I don't want to pull this item out at all but I just want to move its hue angle so that it's right on this line so I could just click and drag on the outer circle here which would do that and kind of moves it around or alternatively I can play with the hot text underneath and just take it so it's pretty much directly on that line which is about about there perhaps a bit much there you go I think at minus 6.5 so that's now absolutely on that line so if I now just pull this back out like this we can see that it's on the right place and what we can do is we can go down and we can minimize this and we can get rid of the four point garbage mat now turn it off and we now know that the skin tone is correct for this particular shot the only item I've got that's a bit of worry is this red teapot which is probably a little bit just out from where it should be so let's just turn these bits and pieces off so before and after so you can see before and after the difference and we've got the original shot here so that's the original shot and then we actually did the contrast the white balance and made the whole thing look better and then we played with the fast color corrector now that for me is not ideal I don't I'm not completely happy with that to my eye so what I might want to then do is go back in and say you know what I'm not completely happy with that so I'm going to pull it back a bit. I think 6.5 might just be in a little bit too much. 3.5, yeah, 3.5 is beginning to go a little bit better. You've got to be able to use your eyes, but also you can use the, the graph side by side. And make sure that if you've got multiple clips, that they're all exactly the right place. I've just got the one clip, and I'm happy with that on my on my system. That looks a little bit better. I think it's just just a little bit more towards the yellows than I would have liked. So although I've got a graph as a reference. I can still go in and use my eyes but the thing is eyes do lie a little bit so it's always good to look away look around the room and then look back at it giving your eyes time to adjust 
and then you can turn around and say yep that's right or it's no it's not right if you want to double check it of course I haven't got rid of my four point garbage mat so I can turn that back on and I can see that it's pretty close to the line and that's probably just about where I want it to be so as I say these things aren't always absolutely obvious but that looks a lot better so the only other issue I have if I just maximize this vector scope again as you can see that that red I'm going to go to 100% here that red is it's just in broadcast safe limits I would like to reduce its saturation a little bit and to reduce its saturation I have to do something called secondary color correction and secondary color correction looks at just this red and reduces that and that only without affecting anything else in the shot and secondary color correction we're going to use with another item called the three-way color corrector which is like an advanced version of the fast color corrector